Hello Zenbees, it's time for a string safari. A string safari is a project where we create a zentangle using a given string. And this is our string safari number 66. You can check out all our previous projects from this series on the playlist String Safari. I'm Sandhya Manne, I'm an artist and a certified zentangle teacher. In this channel, we talk about creating and practicing zentangle, my own zentangle inspired artworks and collectibles. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you do not miss out on any videos that I post here every Tuesdays and Fridays. For today's project, I am going to work on a regular white square tile with my black pen, pencil and stuff. So go grab your supplies and let's get started. On to tangling now. Okay, so here we are with our supplies. This is my white square tile and uh, 01 black micron, a pen or a 08 black micron, a pencil and a stub. So these are our supplies for today's session. So let's get started. This is string number 66 and it's a fun string. So we're going to start off uh, without any border. We're going to start directly with our string. So I'm going to make a square like this. And from here, I'm going to pull out a line that kind of goes like this and then same thing. So keep rotating your tile and let's make something like this. So this is our string for today's session. So I'm going to start with um, inking this pencil line. So I'm just going to start off with making the lines here, the center square. Okay, and now I'm going to pull this out like that. Okay, so I'm also now going to pull out another line that kind of goes like this. So it's narrow here and as it comes out, it gets wider. So let's repeat this on all four sides, like that. So here we are going to add some curves, okay, some circles or more like ovals. Okay, so go ahead and fill this section. Okay, so that is all done. So I'm going to repeat this on all the other three as well. Okay, so here it is all done. Now let's get to the, the sides. Now I'm going to make uh, this triangle called circuit here and we're going to kind of repeat that on the other side as well. Okay, so circuit goes like this. So we start so we're just making half of this triangle. Okay, so we're making um, like the half. The, so usually it is a one full circle. So we start like this and then we go around adding flux. So this is like a floral tangle with flux uh, shape as its petals. Okay, so you can also go about adding some more, like smaller ones. Okay, and now I just go in and add the line and the dots. Okay, so now here inside this, we're going to make a grid, a fine grid. Okay, 
Okay. And inside of the grid, we're going to make a knight's bridge. So I'm going to take my time to add black in the alternating squares. Like this. Okay, so our next um, addition here is, I'm going to give an aura line. So we're just going to go around circle with an aura line. And I'm going to make another aura line slightly over here. So we can add some interesting things there. So by interesting, I mean more circles or more puffs. Okay, so I'm just adding blacks in there. Okay, so now I'm going to give um, another aura line just to kind of give this a finish. So this one is closer to the previous one. Okay, so here we are going to pull out um, lines like the way we do for sand beads. Like that. So I'm trying not to make a straight line. I'm trying to make it slightly curvy or wavy. And here's what I'm going to do. I am going to go back in and just make it slightly darker or thicker right at the center. So almost like a diva dance. So we're doing that little weight to create that interesting effect. You see that? So I'm going to take my time, go around adding the lines. So I'm going to ignore this and then kind of continue adding my lines on the other side. And then go back and add, add these weights.
Okay, so here it looks looks fun. So I'm going to repeat that on the other side, like this side, opposite side as well. So we're going to start with a half circle. And I'm going to go ahead and start adding the flux. I'm also going to add some smaller ones. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to give this an aura. And I'll make a wider order. Okay, so I'm going to add circles, curves inside. So here we are, I'm going to give a further on a one more line and then we're going to make our lines. Okay.
Okay, so here it is all done. Um, I have had a Mr. Square here. I'll try to fix this. That's okay. Um, so well, let's get to the other two sides. Now here we are going to do this triangle called Bunzo. It's a beautiful triangle. Um, so I'm going to start from this corner and kind of grow it up like that. So it starts like this aura lines. That goes about like this. Okay, so here we are going to, I'm going to change my pen. We're going to fill this alternating. So I'm going to use my PN pen. Okay, so this goes like this. So we are going to start with this first one and then alternate. So this one is going to be empty and then I'm going to start putting this up again. Now I'm trying to do this um, sparkle effect. That's so we're going to leave that white spot right in the center to create a sparkle effect, a highlight effect. So this is optional, like you can choose not to do that and do complete solid black, that's fine too. Or you can also leave this just like this without any uh, filling in, that would look fun too. So do what you, what you want to do. So it doesn't really matter how many lines we make. You can just, um, you can definitely keep a count and do your triangle according to that. But I like this free, um, free flowing one. Like each different sizes, it makes it look more organic. Okay, so I'm going to go around adding the black on all of them.
Okay, so here it is all done. I like the way this, this creates this nice drama. Right, so let's uh, repeat that on this side as well. So I'm going to start with my lines. So I'm going to add one last here. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add black with the way we did there. So with the little sparkle. Do you see how the sparkle looks? It creates this nice lovely effect. And once we start shading, um, it's all going to make it even more uh, intense and beautiful. So let's go ahead and add black like this.
Okay, so here it is all done. We've added bunzo, and I like this contrast that that is created here. So let's get to the center part. So here I'm just pulling out lines from the corners like this, and we're going to do the coffering. this and I'm going to add some circles along this okay and now I'm going to add a circle nice and big like that. Okay, so I'm going to fill this with black and give a bit of a teardrop like that and we're going to fill this whole thing solid black okay so now let's go ahead and start with shading So I'm going to go ahead and start here, right here. I'm going to do an L shape. And to put blending like that. Just on two sides. And so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and kind of, you know, uh, emphasize on that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add shading here for Kriti Circuit. Okay, so I'm just going to continue on this as well. Okay, so let's do this on the side as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and add pencil here for, for Bunzo. So Bunzo, we're just going to go ahead and add pencil right here where kind of all the uh, the lines, the curved lines that we made kind of meets.
you see how that creates that nice rounding effect. Okay, so let's do the other side as well. So we're adding the pencil only on the sides like this, where all the lines kind of converge. So blending this with a stub. Okay, so it's all done. I like the way this looks. Now let's let's add our um, initials. So let's sign it and own it. Okay, so I'm going to put my initials somewhere here. Okay, let's now journal this. So today's date is 24th August 2021 and this is YouTube. String Safari series. And um, so we started working with Circu. We did a lot of um, talks. And uh, we did um, Banzo. And uh, we did Sandbees, like a version of Sandbees. Okay, so these have been our focus tangles. Uh, these have been the tangles that we've used here for the session. Hope you had fun on this safari with me. I would love to see your creations. So head on to our Facebook group, Zenbees, where all the after party fun happens. Share your creations there and check out the works where other Zenbees if you're sharing your works on social media, then please do tag me at Sandhya Manne or hashtag Tangles with Sandhya to get to see your lovely works there. And I do stop by to comment. A quick note, these projects and these videos are for your personal use and no part of this can be used for any kind of commercial purposes. To understand the Zentangle method and to get started on your own Zentangle journey, check out my website www.sandhyamannestudio.com for classes, membership and workshops. On Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. India time, I host a Zentangle mini project on my Instagram live. My Instagram handle is at Sanya Mane. So join me there and let's tangle together in real time. To receive my weekly newsletter, click on the link Tangle Organizer in the description. Uh, claim your free gift when you sign up and get updates on my upcoming workshops and other cool things that I do across social media. It's time to comment now, so please comment and let me know how you enjoyed this project because that really helps me plan out my next set of videos. Also, it's time to show some love, so hit that like button, share the video and subscribe to the channel. I will see you next on a Friday in our Focus Flight series. So remember to breathe and smile. See ya. Namaste.